To kick things off, I would like to thank everyone in attendance for taking the time out of their day to come support my fellow graduates and I on this important day. I would also like to congratulate graduates. Congratulations to everyone who did well in their respective sport, or did well in their band or choir events. Congratulations to those who read more books than anyone thought was humanly possible, or got through that class they dreaded waking up for. Now, I am speaking first, so for the next five-ish minutes, I would really appreciate it if you could listen and maybe remember a few things afterwards. So, throughout high school, we have been told many things. Some of these things include how to solve quadratic equations, what a thesis statement entails, and what so-and-so was doing last weekend. One cliche that has been re repeated time and time again is that high school will fly by and will be the best four years of our lives. I definitely think high school has flown by, but I truly don't believe they should be the best four years of our lives. I am sure there are some of you sitting there thinking about the great memories you have created over the past four years. But I can guarantee you there are also some of you thinking about the terrible things that may have affected you these past four years. I just want to let you know that no matter where you sit on that spectrum, there are things waiting to change your life for the better once you leave this room. However, those opportunities aren't going to throw themselves at you. You have to be open to the experiences, and you have to make it happen. And please, notice the emphasis on you. This past year, I have had the interesting opportunity to see what life beyond high school is like, and I have been able to do that at Kent State University. I got to experience really clean bathrooms and got to walk across the street to eat Wendy's before class. Throughout this time and through my experiences, I have learned quite a few things that have impacted me and that I believe are relevant to each one of my classmates. Our time in high school has been spent complaining about the curriculum or the classes we believe have no relevance to what we want to do. These classes have set a foundation for our minds, but have provided us with minimal opportunity to see what, what options we have for the future. Graduation is a ceremony that not only celebrates the completion of these classes, but also celebrates the diversions of students. No one sitting in front of me is heading down the same path. Sure, some of our plans may be the same, but none of us will have the same experiences or opportunities. All of our paths are different because we are all different people. To take this one step further, we all have different ways of going after the opportunities available to us. No matter how different we may be, we all have to remain open to any opportunities thrown our way and learn to never close a door. You will find that you are interested in things you never thought of and that there are many different branches of your interests. For example, did you know that there are over 30 different kinds of nurses, that there are more than 30 different construction trades, or that elevator repairmen average $76,000 a year? With some quick Google searches, you can discover some things you never thought about. Google deep diving may be a hobby for us all, but generally when we search for something, we are searching with a purpose. This also needs to be applied to your search for options. One of the biggest things I have learned this past year is to not settle. I, wanted, I knew I wanted something more than high school when I got senioritis as a junior, and I could not be more happy with my senior year than I am right now. Do not settle on a career path, significant other, or even the color of your new ballpoint pen because of convenience or how you think others may be your choice. This is your life and you have the reins. When you are exploring your options, search with the purpose of finding something you love and are passionate about. Please, once again, notice the emphasis on you. These decisions are no one else's to make. Whether you live in your parents' house, are in a committed relationship, or are just kicking it by yourself, you need to be an independent person. That doesn't mean you get, can't get help along the way, but your life can only be satisfying if you are driving the decisions within them. So explore your options and find something you love, but most importantly, find and do things in life that make you happy. Happiness is something you may define as going fishing at the lake or hanging out with friends. No matter what happiness is to you, it is something that we always strive for, but may not always reach. My tip for finding happiness is to discover your identity. How can you be happy in life if you are not happy with yourself? Who you are is the most important thing you can hold on to in life, and no matter what happens, you will always have you. My mom likes to compare comfort zones to bubbles, and for the past four years, high school has been the small little bubble we have mindlessly swam around in. 
In a few minutes, you will be receiving a diploma that gives you the endless opportunity to expand your bubble and encase whatever you want. As you fill your bubble and build upon your foundation, never forget the things that are important to you and what got you to that point. So to the class of 2017, when you walk out of this hall, live the life you want to live, discover the person you want to be, and realize you are capable of more than you can imagine. Thank you.